I'm a Brazilian YouTuber, and I create goofy videos and generate entertainment options for families all over the world. Você pode confiar em mim. Or at least all families who speak Portuguese, which outside Brazil, Portugal, and Angola are like five families. But I'm not here today to goof around in front of a brand new audience. Mario. And when the clown needs to speak seriously, you know the circus is probably on fire. Americans like to boast about being the world leader at everything. That America is the greatest place on earth. And since the COVID outbreak, you are leading in COVID deaths. That is partly, of course, thanks to your president, Donald Trump, who many of you claim to be the absolute worst head of state in the democratic world today. Well, I'm about to show you that the 200 million people here in Brazil have you beat. Okay, for the moment we're only second in deaths, but I'm certain that our leader, Jair Bolsonaro, is the worst COVID president in the world. Bolsonaro is a military man who has defended the use of torture under Brazil's dictatorship. He then rose to presidentship using statements like this. Do I need to say anything else or do you get the picture? Brazil is the fastest rising COVID country in the world. And the WHO has considered us the new epicenter of the pandemic. Still, he shows no sign of taking the crisis seriously. In short, he makes Donald Trump seem like Patch Adams. Since the very beginning of the crisis, he has not stopped going out, thereby encouraging others to do the same. You guys got pissed off because of a measly Trump rally in Tulsa three months after the outbreak in the US. But Bolsonaro does that all the time. He goes to demonstrations against the Congress. He goes to demonstrations calling for military intervention. He goes to packed city markets. He goes to military ceremonies. He goes barbecue hopping on a jet ski. He goes to protest against the Supreme Court. That bit disgusting, even with no pandemic. Much like Trump, Bolsonaro justifies his actions by professing to believe in miracle cures. For starters, they're both obsessed with the hydro... 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 Shut up, I'm Brazilian! They're both obsessed with a drug with no evidence of working against the disease. But there's a big difference between Trump talking about this in press conferences and what our guy is doing. Bolsonaro has asked the health authorities to forcibly change the official medicine leaflet of hydrofluorocarbons to include coronavirus as a prescribed use case. He's also using the army's industrial capacity to produce the medication while public hospitals face shortages of other drugs, like sedatives and painkillers. Bolsonaro also actively retaliates against any public authority who promotes safety. He fired a health minister after he insisted quarantine was a good thing. He fired the next health minister after he refused to prescribe chloroquine to all COVID patients. He then put a military man in charge of the health ministry and fired most of the technical staff who had been there for years. He's also trying to incite violence. In April, he held a cabinet meeting in which he said, Como é fácil impor uma ditadura no Brasil? Como é fácil? O povo está dedicado. Por isso que eu quero, ministro da Justiça, ministro da Defesa, que o povo se arme. Que a garantia que não vai ter um filho do aparecer para impor uma ditadura aqui. And he didn't stop at words. He also took actions a few days later, upping the limits on how much ammunition we can buy and eliminating all gun tracing regulations. Finally, as the crisis worsened, Bolsonaro began mocking the deceased and their families. When Brazil reached 2,500 dead, a reporter asked him for a statement on it, and his answer was this. Oh, cara, quem fala de eu sou coveiro, tá vendo? When we reached 5,000 dead, when the death toll got to 
30,000. When we reached 50,000 dead, he got musical. When we reached 60,000, he said nothing, which was probably for the best. It's so ugly that even Donald Trump admits we're not in good shape. Ask him, how are they doing in Brazil? He's a great friend of mine. Not good. But there's something else that Trump says that I'd like to leave you with. Trump calls Bolsonaro a good friend. And that friendship is crucial to Bolsonaro retaining his popularity. It legitimizes Bolsonaro. You're the world leader in COVID deaths. And right now, you're leading us into the abyss. Your president has little proxies operating all over the globe. We are their casualties. So if you're wondering what you can do to help Brazil deal with our lunatic, please do not reelect yours. This November, vote to keep Trump out of the White House.